Hello, St. Bernadette. It's Father Jeff coming to you from across the ocean at RAF Lake and Heath at the beginning of this, our season of Lent. You know, as we uh, enter into Ash Wednesday, my mind nostalgically is going back to a year ago when at St. Bernadette, we stood shoulder to shoulder, hundreds and hundreds of us gathered to receive our ashes and begin our Lenten desert walk with the Lord. You know, one of my favorite things to do as a priest is to take those ashes and then as you come forward, trace on your forehead that sign of the cross so clear that people can see it across the room and know that there stands a Catholic that has begun their penitential season. Oh, a year ago, each of us came up received the cross, and heard the words, Remember, you are dust, and unto dust you shall return. Well, no truer words could have been spoken, for soon after Ash Wednesday last year, the pandemic hit, and we all just hunkered down. And we haven't been able to gather in church like we did that back at the beginning of Lent last year since. Now a year later, we're still in the midst of a pandemic, still unable to stand shoulder to shoulder in our church. And once again, our church will be reminding us that we are dust and unto dust we shall return. Well, you know what? I get it. Church, I get it. I'm dust and unto dust I shall return. And yet, as if to add insult to injury, this year, we'll not be getting a sign of the cross on our foreheads because of the pandemic. Throughout the world, we'll all be returning to a more ancient tradition of ash distribution. The ashes will be sprinkled on top of our heads as a sign of our repentance. Now, I know what you're thinking, because I've thought the same thing. Well, how are people going to see that I'm Catholic through the day? How will folks know that I went to church? How will they see that I belong to Jesus? Well, here's how. This year, this year, we have to show our cross by what we do. We have to show our cross by how we sacrifice. We have to show our cross by who we forgive. This year, we have to show that we are Catholic by how we repent and believe in the gospel. This pandemic Lent season, may we each be the sign that God wants the world to see. May this journey into the desert of Lent that we take and embark upon this year make a difference. God bless you. Hold me in prayer. I hold you in mind.